Brad got screwed too many times buying loose books 80% of the time. Really? Damn, Brad. Um, the, the loose books I've bought, th there's only a handful of times where I got screwed. One time, the guy sold me the book saying it was graded at like very fine. I opened it up and the center page was torn out. Like, what, what a scammer. Like, that's not a good way to do business. That's just, you know, a like long-term business anyway right it's crazy it's crazy i don't know why people bother doing that I, I realize people are hard up and strung up but seriously um weird to me weird to me but uh, these books that i've uh, that i've bought i buy from a local comic book store owner that lists stuff on ebay so i've been buying from him almost exclusively when it comes to comic books and i know the guy legit He's very good, very good. And I usually try to get the best deal that I can. Uh, sometimes people go crazy on the bidding on eBay as well. It's like, whoa. I saw on another platform that does auctions. Uh, this is this was crazy. This was the most ridiculous thing ever I ever saw. I was looking at uh, trading cards, right? And there was a trading card that was an archive of... Uh, Jackson black baseball player we got the comic books on it right but it was a re it's, it's like a reprint as an archive one so you can buy that trading card on eBay for like three bucks four bucks five dollars you can buy it for five dollars max on eBay and this other auction site I saw that same card sell for two hundred and sixty dollars idiots were outbidding each other and someone paid 260 dollars for a five dollar card right so you have to be careful with auctions because people get into this auction bidding wars and they try to outdo each other and they end up overpaying i mean i've done it sometimes but i usually when i'm overpaying i'm usually paying fair value for it right because i usually try to get a good deal because you can't buy everything and I try to get build my collection and I like buying things that I don't know anything about sometimes and I do research and I find more research information right but you got to be careful with the uh, with the bidding I do well on Instagram live claim sales every so often nice nice Brad nice the it factor recommendations on finding good sellers on eBay uh, make sure they have a hundred percent what do you call it 100% uh, rating right feedback 100% feedback if they don't have a hundred percent feedback mm, I would stay away from them I sometimes I go with 99.0.9.8 percent as long as the and I look at the negative feedbacks to see what the negative feedback is because some people are really a-holes and they leave negative feedback for no reason right and if the you know the seller replies back regarding negative feedback uh, I look at shipping costs okay and I look at see to see um, how long they've been operating for right uh, so and by the way I like buying from people that uh, have lower ratings right if they have like maybe a hundred feedback or 200 feedback as long as you communicate with them and they seem legit right and look at their feedback look at their history so do a little research into the people that uh, are selling the comic books listing the comic books look at their feedback if they're buying and selling on ebay then make sure the feedback is a hundred percent regarding both situations right 